is we're going to log, we're going to go in and find Salesforce. It's this right here, that blue cloud. Click on it. We're logging in. Here we are. Look at Sharon. She wrote a nice post today. We're going to go into Opportunities. We're going to click New. And we're going to just fill in this data. Look at that. I mean, we're going to call it Fishing at Lunch. We're going to log it under ERA Health Sciences. Sponsor name is going to automatically fill in with the sponsor name unless we actually decide to make it an, a different name. The sponsors other than the account. So like let's say Gilead was sponsoring a CRA study, you could select that. But if you don't fill that in, it's going to automatically fill in. This is definitely just an identified opportunity to go fishing at lunch. Um, we're going to put Luke as our primary contact on this one. Notice the new primary contact field. It's really cool. Um, it syncs to your contact role, so you can do everything here. It is. It, this is definitely a new business. What do you think, Luke? Is that pretty cool? And then. Oh, uh, thanks, Luke. Thanks. You're so kind. We're going to say PRUS. We don't need to put any of these reps on yet unless you want to. If there's an inside sales rep you've been working with, um, maybe it's Canada, Michelle Canada. We'll, we'll call her out on this one. And then um, we'll go down. The EP now is automated. So, yep. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But since my boss, Christy Williams, is not an EP, it's not going to automate for me, but it should automate for you. Feel free to select your GP. Um, don't worry about operational owner and project analyst. That's for our MBA team to handle. If you do have a campaign that they're going to and you want you know, that to be a touch point, you can go in here and pick your campaign. We're going to say this is definitely phase one. We have a lot more phases to go through on this experiment. I think it's functional services because in order for us to function, you know, we don't want to be too stressed out. Um, I don't think the need to go fishing is rare, but it's definitely probably pediatrics type related. <laughs> the study design, not applicable because we don't have one today. We don't know our protocol number. We, we do know we have a start date of today because that's our first study. The end date we hope will be never, um, but obviously there will be an end date. Um, we don't have any patient sites. I think the service here is definitely adaptive monitoring because we monitor ourselves and we try to adapt to all of the surroundings that we have at PRA. I have no comments yet. You know, I don't have any reporting dates. These are a lot of fields you guys don't see because I'm an admin. I forgot to log in with the Wolverine. But we're all done. Click save. Oh, the only thing I forgot was the anticipated award MBA date. We didn't, but for the when do I think this award's going to occur? So if you notice this one's way down the line. Did you find it? No, no. It's the uh, anticipated award date we're looking for. Again, you won't see all these fields. There it is. You won't see these fields because, well, you're not an admin. But anyway, I'm going to click save, and now we're done. Pam's going to let me know what the hell, John, you made an opportunity. So I'm going to go delete it. Y'all have a great day.